Hey, what's up? Uh, today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to take a screenshot um, with your BlackBerry and um, iPod Touch. Now, um, a lot of people don't know how to take a screenshot onto BlackBerry because it's a little bit more complicated. But uh, I'm also going to do the iPod and iPhone and iPad because a lot of people also don't know how to take a screenshot. It's very simple. I figured it out. I didn't need to go on YouTube for it. But I figured, hey, why not make a video for it? For the hell of it. All right, so first I'm gonna show you an iPod because it's a little bit more easier. So this is jailbroken. You don't need a jailbroken device to take a screenshot. A standard one can do it as well. Um, oh. So this is an iPod Touch fourth generation. So all right, here we are. All right, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand because I am recording. So okay. So you're going to hold the power button or the standby button with the home screen. At the same time, you're going to press it, and it's going to do that. Now, to find these pictures, I don't know why my iPod time is showing like that. Um, yeah. So to do that, you're going to want to go to Photos to see your screenshot. You're going to want to go to Photos, and you're going to want to go in here. And you're going to see it with the iPod sign on the side. If it was up there, it would be up there. So, yeah. Um, that's how you would do it. Let me kind of clear the clear it up a little bit. And that's how you would do it. This is the wallpaper. Um, not the actual thing. As you can see, it's going to go back. So, to do that, just hold this and this at the same time. It's going to take a screenshot. All right. Now, let's get to the BlackBerry. Let me just turn this light off. All right. <sighs> Now let's get to it. Um, I did change the housing on it. The original was white and black. Kind of a mix match. Sorry. It's kind of a mix match. Uh, so this is what it looks like. This is the Curve 8530, but the case that's on it right now is an 8520 housing. So let me just clear that up for you guys. All right. Just enter my password. The only reason why I'm hiding is because I do have some people in my school that have my YouTube account. So if I put it there, I really honestly don't care. I could change it. But um, that's not the point. All right. To take a screenshot, you're going to need an app. And it's going to be called uh, uh, Vayu, Vayu, whatever you pronounce it. I'm going to show you guys in a little second. If I don't see it here, it's just... All right. Okay, wow, it's called V-Shot. If searching V-Shot doesn't work, you can try um, V. It's better than the screen munch. It vibrates. It doesn't make that horrible noise. I don't, I don't know if you could turn off the screen munch noise. But, uh, yeah. I deleted that, but I've been rebooting my phone for today. I just deleted that about an hour ago. So to V-Shot it, you would just go like that. It would vibrate. You could take vibrating off. No, uh, not to sound weird. So just go in the App Store, search up V-Shot. It's free. Um, it's, you can upgrade it without having to see the ads. The ads don't appear up on your screenshot. It doesn't have like a little icon on the side that says Screen Munch. I think it's pretty clear. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, and it's free. But the only thing is that a couple of like screenshots, then an ad will come up. Um sponsoring them or upgrade the uh, thing blah 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 there's no like you know movie ads and it just works with wi-fi without signal on if your signal's off or wi-fi is off it still works it doesn't need anything uh here to run it so um let's do that and also i when the when it's off i don't think that ads pop up so it's kind of a, a little bonus here so i'm gonna click it and hopefully you hear the vibration i want to be a little quiet when i do this I don't know if you heard that. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to try to do it so you can see the ads I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time. All right. So now to see it, um, also when you first install it, when you run it, it's going to ask for permissions. You're going to hit OK, I trust this app. And then after that, it's going to ask you where you want to save it to device memory 
or to the media card. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you to name the folder if you want the folder. But if you have the folder, it's still going to save to the media card or the device, whichever one you picked from the previous step. And you don't have to register anything. You don't need to register your PIN, your email, nothing. It's just pretty uh, simple. All right, so now you're going to go into here. And you're going to go in this. And that was a screenshot I took. I'm going to just delete it as we go. I'm going to keep going. I'm deleting these. These are photos. All right, I'm pretty much there. And this is actually a screenshot I took of my phone. And there you go. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was very useful to you. I know... Uh, <laughs> Um, a lot of people should know how to take a screenshot onto the iPod, iPhone, iPad, um, but they don't know how to. And this works with all generations. It's not like a f iOS 5 generation, iOS 4 generation. You can do this on all generations, on this one. As long as you have the app for this uh, particular uh, phone, um, then uh, you should be good. So, um, on my next video, I'm doing a BlackBerry um, housing review. I believe this one was from uh, eBay. So I'm going to do a housing review. I'm going to basically get into the details, why I don't like it, why I don't do this. And um, actually, I had a false uh, description on the other one. I don't know if I said it in the video, but I'm going to say it again. I'm going to cover that. So I uh, hope this video was very useful to you. Uh, it's Deborah 990 Peace out. And check my other channel. Um, I should provide a link for it soon, but I don't feel like it. I'm really lazy, and then that will require you on the computer. So uh, a lot of you don't know, but some of you do, because I did actually transfer your subs to the other one. So anyhow, all right, bye. And that, another one's pretty much a gaming video, a gaming uh, website, a professional thing. I'm not recording it to the TV, straight from the phone to the TV. I'm not doing that anymore. I have an actual video cam recorder video card recorder um that does that and i do unbox i have a macbook up there and i think i have a dazzle i don't remember which, like i don't remember which uh model but that's not the one i'm using to record it's actually something that my friend told me about so uh, i'll get into that later all right peace